All right, YouTube. Uh, what I want to show you today is uh, my automatic uh, chicken coop door. Um, so I had some folks kind of interested in how I wired this up and uh, kind of looking at it from the outside here. We just kind of go check it out. So what I have on the outside of my coop, I have this little uh, manual door just in case for whatever reason I want to... Uh, keep them in and the door's not working I can just uh, flip this right here and that just comes down locks in place uh, but that just stays up all the time and I'm gonna do a little better job mounting this switch but I have a little manual over override switch right there so I can operate the door by just turning that and there it goes you can see it coming down in the middle it's uh it's been deactivated and then to that it just reverses the polarity and there you see it coming back up it's uh it's really slow so we don't uh decapitate any chickens or what have you um now let me uh come around and uh show you the bits what we got going on here so this wall over here on the side faces south pretty pretty square just kind of lucky how that worked out um so what i did is i went to lowe's let me see if there's a focus here maybe not it's my cell phone so uh bear with me um but i bought that little solar solar cell and what that is um there we go finally showed up uh, what that is, that's a little solar cell that you can turn like outside floodlights uh, into uh, dusk to dawn type deals. And it's actually designed to screw into a box, you know, like one of those light boxes. But I went ahead and bought a little box here. And since I was already running power here, I just went ahead and threw in an outlet for bonus. Because, you know, what the heck, an extra three bucks or something. I got an outlet. So, uh... It was like eight dollars at Lowe's, so that's your sensor. Real simple. Um, let's go around to the inside of the coop here, and uh, you can kind of see. Now I ran AC power into here. That little white thing—that's actually a, a light control, so I can kind of augment some sunlight for my birds uh, in the winter time. But um, so the other part. Oops, let me close the door for. Chickens run away. All right, let's uh, let's get some light in here. All right, well that's not a whole lot better, but um, so there's the uh, the 12 volt actuator, and uh, it's a 12 inch stroke, and uh, basically when you put positive like you know 12 volts on on the two wires one way, it makes it longer. You reverse the polarity and it makes it shorter. So real simple. Then what I have, I have these drawer sides. So I just got a piece of 2x4 up on one side, another one on the other. And these drawer sides are 12-inch uh, drawer slides. It's a 12-inch stroke. Uh, actually, actually, I think those the drawer sides are like a little longer, like 16 or something. I gave myself a little extra. 12-inch stroke on the uh, actuator. And that just slides up and down real smooth. And uh, I just have AC power running out to that sensor and then running back in. And I enclosed it in this little box right here, the uh, the relay. And then I just kind of had it run up to the switch. I was going to have that in the box too, but uh, the uh, the little snout was uh, too short to stick to the wall. I'm going to do something different about that, but I haven't done it yet. And then what I have is this power brick. That's providing my 12 volts DC to operate the, uh, the actuator. And then I have 110 running to the uh to the photo cell outside and uh let's let's go outside here and i'll uh i drew a little diagram of how the wiring works it's it's crazy simple um so let's let's just go over here and take a look okay so i drew it out and and here are your part numbers so your dusted on light control from lowe's um it's like $8, um, and then we need a double pull, double throw, 
switch from uh, Radio Shack. Um, and that's like three or four dollars. The relay, whoops, the uh, we on Wendy here. The the relay was uh, again three four dollars, so not too expensive. And then here's my schematic. Whoops, let me uh, try this a little differently here. All right, so what you have is the AC comes in. I don't know if I can hold this and kind of point it out here. The AC comes in, white wire goes in out of your your little relay, your uh, light control switch. You have three wires, so you're gonna have your white wire, your black wire, and your red wire. Y your white wire is gonna connect up. That's your neutral, and that's gonna go right on down to your relay. And then to power the other side of the relay, it's going to connect to the red wire on the photo cell. And then the black wire coming from your power is just going to go to the other side of the photo cell. And, and that's it. And, and then, of course, you can have a green wire to uh, ground out your box if you want to. All right. So what happens is when this photo cell triggers, it triggers this coil here, which tells basically the, the relay to connect either these ones and these ones together or this one and this one together, okay? So this is your, your DC power, and we got our DC brick coming into our relay. So this is our source. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna be switching between either these two or these two. So you'll have like positive here, negative here, and what'll happen is it'll switch to here, and this will also be positive or negative, right? Because we're just switching which contacts are active. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross them. So when we, switch it from here to here because we've crossed them now this one is getting negative and this one is getting positive whereas if it's over here this one is getting positive and this one's getting negative what we do because we want to have also a manual override is we instead of going straight to the actuator with it we feed that to the double pull double throw switch and it's wired up a little differently so it has the incoming coming on these two middle terminals and then the outgoing on these two outer peripheral terminals so what we do here is we just simply wire that down to our little actuator. Love my artwork here. All right, so our, our actuator is wired on one end, and then we just wire across over here like this. So what happens is when you throw the switch to this side, right, so these, these get connected. Imagine just drawing a line like that, drawing a line like that. Now these are connected. And this is always positive. This is always negative. So you reverse the polarity. That's it. It's, it's dirt simple. Or if you come down this way, then these are straight, so that's positive and that's you know negative, whatever. So that's it. I mean that there you go. I mean you're talking about uh, a three four dollar part there, three four dollar part there, and that's bonus. You don't actually have to have it. I just kind of like to. Uh, another uh, that's eight dollars, a little more money there, and and your bigger expense is going to be the actuator itself. That that little joker will set you back like fifty bucks. Um, and then the other one is drawer slides. I used some, some kind of fancy drawer slides that were like $15 or something. Um, they do make some cheaper drawer slides for like 8 or $9, and you can go with those. I think they would be just fine. I just kind of like those nice ones, so uh, that's what I used. Um, but, but that's it. Anyways, so I um, uh, hope that was helpful. Again, there's those part numbers. Uh, now, for the actuators, uh, just go to eBay, uh, Amazon. Look for 12 volt electric actuator, 12 volt DC electric actuator, All right? And then you can get whatever stroke length you want. Uh, I found that 12 was nice for me. Um, you could get more, you know, if you get like turkeys or something. But uh, 12 is good enough for my little birds. They can get in and out just fine. Um, and you could even use this to open up like a full size mandor, you know, just kind of put it you know, to hinge it open. Uh, so a lot of different ways to do it. Um, and, and the longer the stroke, generally the, the more, uh, the more expensive the actuator. So, um, that's another reason to kind of try to keep it as short as you actually need. Um, now, now for like an 18 inch one, you, you might be looking closer to like hundred bucks. So, um, anyways, there you go. Uh, there's the crazy schematic. You can pause that if you need to. There's the photo cell, um, and I mean this is this is dirt simple, folks. Uh, I'm I'm no genius here, um, but I got it to work, and there you go. All right. Well, I hope that was helpful.